My name is Matt Gamble. I'm the design engineer who designed this 4-liter six-cylinder Jeep head, designed with an eye on performance and durability. Edelbrock's Jeep head is designed, cast, machined, and assembled right here in the USA. It's available in two configurations. Uh, what we have here is a display head that, that shows both of those configurations. You can get it either complete, which includes uh, valves, uh, valve jobs in the seats, reamed and honed guides, and complete uh, spring retainer lock and seal packages, or it's available, as you see on the bottom half of the head here, as a bare head, uh, which you're going to get uh, a machined casting with guides installed, which are not reamed and honed, and you're gonna have seats installed, but they are not gonna include valve jobs. Edelbrock's Jeep 4-liter six-cylinder head incorporates better flowing intake and exhaust ports. Uh, these ports are designed to flow well over the entire lift range uh, for which typical Jeep camps operate. Uh, they're not biased to just get a peak flow number, good for advertising, but they will work well with cams and perform well on the vehicle, giving you good torque and low end uh, response from your vehicle. Uh, the valves themselves are undercut on the stems and swirl polished on the heads. Uh, we're running stock Jeep valve sizes, which are uh, 1910 on the intake and 1500 on the exhaust. The combustion chamber is a more modern design. It's a heart-shaped chamber. It's designed to work in conjunction with the ports for, again, for that good flow, both on low end and top end through the flow range. The geometry of the combustion chamber also aids in promoting a good flame front so that you get good power out of the engine while it's running. The architecture of this head has been designed to incorporate a thick deck, uh, which promotes stiffness both in the, uh, the manufacturing process as well as when the head is run on a vehicle. Uh, that thick deck is going to uh, support uh, the combustion process and keep everything in the place it's supposed to be in. On the port side of things, we've got uh, helicoils inserted into all the threaded holes. Uh, you've got on a Jeep inline head, you've got intake and exhaust both in the same flange. So you've got elevated temperatures, those helicoils uh, will add strength to the threads and uh, again keep the manifolds where they're supposed to be and keep things from leaking. And on the top side of the head, We've got reinforced rocker bosses to aid in uh, valve train stiffness. Uh, they also have extra meat to allow modification uh, should the end user so desire to put roller rockers on the head. Uh, looking at first the intake and exhaust manifold side of things, uh, the intake is designed with port locations to work well with a 91 to 2006 uh, intake manifold and the exhaust is going to require, the port locations will require a 91 to 98 factory header or any aftermarket header will work. The valve train itself, the valve angles are stock, uh, which means that you can run all your stock uh, rocker arms, push rods, and everything will line up correctly. The, the rocker arm will contact the valve tip in the correct location and provide excellent geometry throughout the sweep. Uh, the stock push rods are the right length, they'll work with everything. Uh, the valve cover rail is in the stock location. If you do perform a modification to put roller rockers on it, uh, you'll have to address the clearance with the valve cover when you get to that point. On the ignition side of things, the head is designed to accept either distributor ignitions or coil packs. This head has been designed to fit on 4.2 liter AMC blocks for either uh, retrofits to those blocks or strokers. When running a factory 4 liter head on a 4.2 block, there are uh, water passages on the deck of the head which need to be blocked off due to the scalloping of the bores on the 4.2 liter block. Uh, when designing this head, uh, we've eliminated uh, those particular water passages, so no modifications are necessary to the head itself uh, to be able to run on a 4.2 liter conversion. What you do need to make sure you do is, is get the proper intake and exhaust manifold combination to go with the cylinder head, not with the block. Uh, so that would be a 91 to 2006 intake, 91 to 98 exhaust or aftermarket header. Uh, and then as you're assembling the head, uh, the other critical thing is verifying that you get the proper push rod length. Edelbrock's Jeep head is pending uh, carb approval for 50 states emissions legality uh, when used with uh, factory fuel injection setups. Uh, if you desire to use it on a 4.2 liter conversion, uh, it needs to be used with a carb approved Mopar fuel injection conversion kit. To learn more about Edelbrock's line of high-performance cylinder heads, please visit us at edelbrock.com.